So we're driving back to Minnesota from Michigan and all of a sudden the truck starts making a funny noise. A pretty horrific noise. I don't know if you can hear that. It's like ticking almost. That's yeah, pretty good rattle. And it gets worse the higher the RPMs go. So we're not really sure what it is or what we're gonna do. Could be a transmission. Fingers crossed we don't blow up. Truck's fucked probably, we don't know. <laughs> We're gonna go to the next nearest town and figure it out from there because we don't really have any service and can't call anybody. I can't get this down. You'll probably be able to hear the noise. It's pretty bad. It's not doing it right now, but I'm sure it'll do it as soon as I move. Oh yeah, there it is. the funny noise because now the funny noise has left us stranded on the side of the highway. <sighs> so we are gonna try to get towed I guess the cops are gonna tow us to the next exit supposedly I don't freaking know but uh yeah pretty sure the transmission just decided hey I'm done it's a great day so the cops are towing us to the next exit. It's probably one of the most interesting things that has ever happened to us. I did these rumble strips. <laughs> so the truck isn't on, it's just in neutral. And they're just pulling it. There's another cop behind us blocking traffic in this the lane that we're half in. For the record, a couple of the nicest cops I've ever met. <laughs> For sure. God, I feel like we're going so fast. We're going 
going like about 40 miles an hour, I think. Here's our exit. So the cop that was behind us just went in front of us to go up and block traffic. So much anxiety, I'm shaking. Yeah. <laughs> How cool is it that the cop even gave us the dash cam footage? Because without video, I don't think anybody would have believed this would have even happened. How's your day? It's been better. First it was okay. And then it was really bad. And now it's just bad. It could be worse. It could be better. It got better because we just had state troopers pull us off the highway. Get that. In their cruiser. It wasn't even a pickup truck. It was like an SUV. Right? That's what they're called? It was a Ford Explorer. Whatever. Yeah, that was intense. Don't Not think fun. Don't think you're going to tow your 30,000 pound rig with a Ford Explorer. <laughs> or wind up on the side of the road and think that the cops are going to help you. Because they usually don't do that. They're just like... Hey, we called you a tow truck. Get off the road. These cops were really, really cool. They were super cool. Yeah. But now we're not going to die from traffic because that oh, was... That was really bad. That was really bad. Tell your friends when you see a car, anything, pulled over on the side of the road, you move over. Because one of these times, you're going to end up hitting the people that are on the side of the road. You never know when they're going to come out, like open their door or something like that. Or they've just, been trying to open their door for the last five minutes, but there's yeah. too much fucking traffic and yeah. you can't get out. So just move over and save everybody, you know, a funeral. <laughs> the PSA brought to you by Finding Life's Adventure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Rant over. <laughs> Oh, so now we are just hanging out on this little side road between the gas station and the TA. Okay, so a little update. We've been waiting on the side of the road for about five hours now. We've been waiting for AAA for four of those hours and four phone calls later. Um, they hung up on us one time and they finally told us to pretty much figure it out ourselves so, so luckily we have the best friends in the world and they're coming to save us yeah it's crazy how we pay for the rv service but then we get told that it's too heavy yeah they told us that the truck was too heavy and the camper was too heavy we even went to the extent of unloading the can-am driving it to my uncle's place which is about five miles from here we got a trailer coming that's big enough to haul the truck and the Can-Am. So now I gotta go get the Can-Am and bring it back. And it's gonna rain. And now it's like gonna fucking rain on us. So this is just a great freaking day, huh? The highlight has been the state trooper pulling us off the interstate. Because without him, we'd still be there. And we'd probably, probably be, be dead. dead. <laughs> because the traffic was about six inches from us. And they yep. wouldn't move over. Refer to my PSA. We're still here. Come say hi. I don't know. Yeah, luckily we're pretty close to our home base. We made it about an hour and a half from where we are going to be going. A couple more hours and then maybe a couple more hours after that, then maybe we'll be home. I think we're going to break out the grill. Break out the grill and the launchers and just <laughs> fucking... Tailgate by the holiday. <laughs> Tailgate, I guess. I don't know. What else are we going to do? Ah! All right, well, I'll give you an update later. I'm sure maybe a tow truck will show up at the same time that Ryan and CJ do. Who the hell knows? Just when we thought our day couldn't get any worse. It's been a drought and all of a sudden we show up and it has to rain. And I think our uh, truck is just about here. Trucks. Plural. Hey, there's one of our trucks. 
Yeah. How you been, bud? <laughs> Great. It's all part of the adventure. Finding life's adventure. Yeah. Lord and Savior number two. <laughs> you feel a little bit better? And it stopped raining just in time to load it. Oh. I want to hear the progression of the noise. Yeah, the noise got worse. Much. <laughs> hey, at least you made it, you know, this far. I love how the Ram is the first thing that broke down. Not the Ford or the Chevy. <laughs> hey, we're not home yet, so watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go. Let's do it. I hope this hits don't break and I kind of hope that ram falls off the trailer. <laughs> Drive like a maniac. Cut them straps a little bit. Don't know how. Just put a nick in them. Well, we made it here. We got to Ryan's last night at like 1 o'clock, 1.30, something like that. Hella late. Here's our beautiful Can-Am and our total bitch of a truck. <laughs> All right, so it only took three trucks and two trailers and two days and two days and we're getting our shit home finally i don't know why i say that home is wherever we go but yeah. it was quite the ordeal it was a lot we're tired friends are probably sick of us i'm glad we have good friends though yeah we've got good friends so this is the can-am's little trailer for the last little journey Journey home. All right, let's go. What are you doing? Shotgunning a rebel, kind of, because you kicked it over and broke it. Now yeah, there's the, a hole on the bottom. There's a hole in it. It's a great day, huh? <laughs> At least there's Red Bulls. At least we're caffeinated. What is it? It's a short box. <laughs>